Hello! In this instructional video, I'm going to show you how to set up a spreadsheet to solve formulas. In engineering, there's formulas for everything, really, and quite often we have to solve or do a number of you know, solve a number of different problems using the same formula or use the same formula over and over again. Not only perhaps yourself, but maybe you have people of a less technical mindset that are working for you, so you need to set up a simple, foolproof um, way that they can calculate and things or get the right answers. So Remember that in engineering and in your chosen career, you're not usually locked away in a silo on your own. Um, quite often you have to work with other people. So I'm going to start with a very simple um, formula that I hope everyone's familiar with, the area of a triangle, and how show how I might go about setting up a spreadsheet uh, that's reasonably foolproof say for um, someone that was doing a lot of work um, on, you know, working out the areas of um, triangles and things like that um, for whatever. So I'm going to do it from the point of view, I, I'm, I'm a land surveyor, so um, we work in metres. Uh, we usually do our areas, if they're in metres, usually to the nearest um, metre, square metre. And then, um, if they're more than uh, ten thousand, if they're more than a thousand square meters or ten thousand square meters, uh, we usually work in hectares. So, um, just looking at my little uh, thing here, I've got the area of a triangle. Uh, the formula equals half times base times height. Uh, and then, if we put that in a, in a formula, we might show that as half base, half BH, uh, over here, okay, and um, I've drawn a little uh, diagram there, although it's got a little bit out of hand actually, that uh, there's a, a little bit uh, too big, so let's put that there like that, and uh, oh now that's, um, that little dot there uh, needs a little bit of adjustment, so you know, you're always updating and up, uh, <laughs> updating your spreadsheet. So I'm going to show you uh, how uh, you could go about um, working away on this, uh, creating this spreadsheet. Um, you'll also see down here um, in the bottom, I've got another tab there for circle area, which is a uh, blank uh, spreadsheet. Um, so that would be my next one. So what I would be looking at doing here is setting up a uh, Excel file that has a number of uh, tabs along the bottom and a, a different formula on each one. These co these tabs can be duplicated and copied and copied to other um, spreadsheets as well. So the tab function along the bottom there is uh, quite uh, quite powerful and useful. So, uh, yeah, just bear that in mind. So, right, so I'm going to uh, put this one over here by way of an example. And then um, I'm going to um, just, um, I don't know why I've got that there, but that's uh, just my OBS software that I'm using to record this. Um, okay, uh, I don't know why it's doing that, but... Uh, just uh, leave that there. I think we're um, uh, still uh, still recording. Oh, okay. Well, good. I hope. Look, everything's okay. Right. So uh, I'm just going to go to Excel. Uh, Excel here, and uh, I'll just go a uh, new uh, a new uh, blank spreadsheet. And uh, there we go. And that's it there. And I'm just going to lock that into into that side uh, there at the moment. Uh, alrighty. Okay, and uh, this one over here is an example. We don't need that to be 
uh, quite as big. Uh, oh, all right. Now I did um, wanted to show you uh, how this one worked, so I'll just do that here. So you just type in a number into the uh, inputs. Um, so the base of the triangle, let's say it's uh, 52.236. So I've allowed uh, input up to in millimeters. Uh, this is in meters, and uh, let's say the height is uh, 14.307. Um, so the area of that triangle would be um, 374 square meters and 0 0.0374 hectares. So probably show that one in square meters. But if we went slightly bigger um, here, uh, make that 252 and uh, that there, oh, let's make it go for a, a big one. Um, let's go for oh, a thousand. Okay, so that would, uh, you know, uh, a, roughly a kilometer by 250 meters um, would give us 12 hectares or 12,661 meters squared. All right, so how do we set that up? Well, here's our blank uh, one there and I just uh, went away uh, here in um, in this uh, cell here, and I just typed in my heading. Um, I'm just going to go with what I've got. So area of a triangle. Okay, and I just want that to be. Um, there's all sorts of formatting options that you can use. And I, one of the things I would recommend is that you have a good look around YouTube and find some, um, there'll be alternative uh, ways, way better than this quite possibly. But uh, yeah, so we'll make that bold and I've got it underlined and I think I've got it at about 14 just to make it a big and um, yeah, and then check your spelling. Um, put an L in uh, a triangle and enter and uh, there it goes area of a triangle okay um, perhaps I didn't have it as bold before and I might have had it a wee bit bigger looking there but maybe 18 yeah okay so yeah it might be a little bit different and uh, now here um, I've um, put this in here as a uh, as a formula because um, it enables me to uh, do that. So um, I've just gone um, uh, insert um, text box and I just put that in there like that. Okay, and uh, then we're going to go insert uh, some uh, equation equation. And I'm going to type it um, right. Uh, area of triangle uh, with a capital T. Area of triangle equals uh, half times. It's a formula, but... Uh, now, if you're using times, you want to use the, um, I'll just make this a bit bigger. Oh, are we still in, I don't think we're in the equation mode there. So, area of triangle, there we go, uh, space, uh, and then just flick that up there and use the equals from there. Uh, area of triangle equals, um, oh, I'm just Going to go half. Uh, yeah, working in the equation editor, um, it uh, can be a bit uh, different because it does, it puts its own spaces. Half times base, uh, and I use the times from here, times height. Half times base times height. Now, um, I want that to be... Um, or uh, um, I'm going to put that as maybe 14 or something. 
Okay, um, for no particular reason. All right, and then we go enter. Now that takes us out of equation mode, so we've got to um, do a separate equation for each line. So, you know, you don't want to be uh, insert new equation. Um, and it's into the center there. And then I'm going to go um, equals, and uh, to put in the half, I can use this here. And there's probably another way, but this way works. Uh, equals half. Um, and then a B, and then H. Uh, okay. Um, so we put that in there like that. Um, just sort of make it fit. Um, there, that's going good like that. Um, I think I showed you last time. You might want to just uh, sh format shape. And uh, I don't have a line. I don't want no line there. And uh, then you can click on it again. Um, oops. And sometimes it's, it's very temperamental. Well, I find anyway. It's probably something I'm doing. Set as default text box. So there we go, and um, we've got that area of a triangle, and I've pulled that back there, equals half uh, B times H. Um, all right, now um, I've got a little diagram there that um, I want to uh, I want to draw. Um, right, and I'm just uh, checking on my uh, time here. Um, oh. I've gone over over 10 minutes, so I'm going to uh, stop it there, and um, and then we'll move on, uh, do a part two. So, we'll see you on the other side. Cheers.